everyone, this is Amy with Just Please Just Punch, and today's project is this cute little tote bag that I made uh, using some of the products from the Occasions catalog. Um, it's a good size little tote, and um, as you can see the inside, it could be used to hold all sorts of things. Um, you could uh, use it as a gift, uh, fill it with some coffee, some candy, uh, make it into a little Easter basket. Um, the possibilities are pretty much endless with this little tote. Um, the products that we're going to be using to make it um, are, uh, the stamp set is um, the Honeycomb Happiness stamp set, and this is in the Celebration catalog, um, so you get this free if you, uh, with a $50 purchase. And this is available until March 31st, and it's a really cute little stamp set. We're going to be using the balloon and um, some of the little embellishments that go with the balloon, and I'll show you those. Uh, the ink that we're using today is uh, we're going to be using our archival black stampin' pad, basic black, and our Blushing Bride um, Stampin' Right marker. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change it up a little bit when I make it uh, for you guys today. Um, the cardstock, we're going to use the same color scheme, but the cardstock is a little bit different. It's from the same um, paper pack. And this paper is from the, oh, what's it called? The It's My Party um, DSP paper stack. So we're just going to be using a couple of different um, papers in there. Um, we have got, let's see, a couple of punches. We've got uh, the two inch circle punch and the two and three eighths inch scallop circle punch. We'll be using those. And then we've got, um, I used for the first one, I used some of the metal rimmed pearls for the little um, handles. And you know, you could use lots of things for this. You could use some brads, um, lots of different embellishments um, could be used for the little handles. They don't, mine don't go through and you know, the handles stay on just fine. So um, this time I'm going to use the um, It's My Party enamel dots. And I just thought they would be really cute because they've got the mint macaron color um, for those. And that's what we're going to be using today. And I've got one of the little honeycomb embellishments. And these are just so adorable. Um, I've used these for all sorts of things. So we're going to use those, uh, well, one of those today as well for the little tag on the front. Um, our paper, we have got um, two pieces of DSP from the It's My Party paper stack. Um, the first one measures um, 12 by um, four and a half. And then the second one is um, seven by four and a half. And then we've got um, some crumb cake pieces. And those are, um, this one is five by eight and this is gonna be used, um, this is gonna be the bottom of our bag. And then we've got several strips that I've already pre-cut. Um, we've got two strips that are, let's see, these two are the handles. These are um, one by 11 each. And then we've got um, two at three quarters inch by eight and a half. And then two at um, three quarters inch by um, 11. So we're gonna be using those to make the little top of the bag. Okay, we also have two pieces of cardstock for the little tag on the front. And this is a three by three of crumb stock and a three by three of whisper white. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to score the bottom piece that makes our bag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna score it at one inch all the way around. So I'm just gonna put this in here at the one inch mark here, and I'm gonna go ahead and score it just on each side. So just turning and scoring and lining it up with that one inch mark each time, turning and scoring. Okay. So then you're just gonna cut on the long side. You're gonna cut up just up to the line there where those two lines meet, just on the long side. So 
There we go. And you can go ahead and burnish your sides and get that piece ready. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do, um, we're gonna get our handles ready. So the two pieces, um, the two one inch pieces that we cut, um, we're gonna score those and we're not gonna score them all the way down. We're gonna score them at the halfway mark. And this is a little tricky because this is a one inch piece and there's really, there's not anything to line it up with up here. So I just sort of lined it up here and here and tried to make sure that it was straight all the way down. And then just carefully closing it in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna push down with my scorer until I get to the one and a half mark here. So at the one and a half, I'm going to start scoring and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna stop scoring again at the nine and a half. So I'm not gonna score one and a half inches from the bottom or one and a half inches from the top. I'm just gonna score in between those two marks and you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm gonna do that for both of these pieces. Again, making sure that I've got that lined up. And if you've got your score uh, scoring board, that might make this a little bit easier. I don't have that handy right now, so I'm just using my paper trimmer. And again, scoring just between those two one and a half inch marks. Okay. So now we're going to, to burnish that line. And we're gonna to use Tombow glue. Believe it or not, Tombow glue uh, is what holds this entire thing together. Um, you're not gonna need much else in the way of adhesive, except for your tag, which is really nice. If I can get it started. Okay, and we're just gonna go all the way down until we get to that mark that we didn't, um, you know, like I said, we scored down to the one and a half on each end. And this glue is great. It holds really well, um, but you do have to kind of help it out a little bit since we're not using any fast fuse for this. We're just gonna use our Tombow. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside to dry. And then I'm gonna do the second one. And actually, I am remembering that, of course, I forgot one step on this. Sorry. I meant to use my corner rounder to round these corners. So I don't think it's too late. I think I can still slide it in there. And I usually use the back of my envelope punch board. I just usually have that handy. And so do this before you glue and just make sure you've got it in there nice and straight. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold that again since we had to mess with it. All right, and we're gonna set that aside to dry. And okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the bottom of the bag together. And to do that, you're just gonna to wanna to put a little bit of glue on your tabs. And like I said, it sets pretty quickly. So we're gonna do that. And if you have fast views and you wanna use fast views, that's fine too. Um, I just find that Tombow works really well on these bags. It does take a few seconds to set, but it holds really, really well.
Okay, so I think we've got that set and we're gonna go ahead and start on the side of the box. So take your longest piece and I don't want a seam on the front of my bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start about right here and I'm gonna start gluing all the way around. So I'm gonna go in maybe half to three quarters of an inch or so and I'm gonna start attaching my paper there. So just some glue. We'll go about halfway so far. And just have to kind of make sure it's lined up and get it started and hold it in place here. You could flip it over and hold it there. And I want to make sure that I've got a nice little kind of pinched edge here. You don't want it all the way up, but just kind of pinch the bottom a little bit to make that edge nice and smooth. Okay, I think we've got it. All right, so pinch, pinch, I've got glue on my hands. I'm trying not to get it all over my nice pretty paper. Um, okay, so now let's see, that gives us basically the bottom of our tote. So we've got that all together. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna attach um, our, the top part before we put the handles on. So let's see, I think we're gonna start, I'm trying to remember how I did this the first time. Yeah, we're gonna just do the same thing as we did last time. And we're gonna go ahead and start kind of around the side here. And um, this time, probably easier if you go ahead and put your glue on your cardstock instead of your DSP. Try it that way this time. And just carefully, slowly and carefully wrap that around. And while I'm doing this, I'm looking at the other bag and I'm thinking, thinking that I may have made this top part one inch wide last time instead of three quarters of an inch. I'm looking at it and it's definitely a little bit wider. So whatever you want to do, if you want to make it one inch wide, that's fine. Um, it looks fine either way. I think this will look just as nice. Okay, so that's sticking nicely. Make sure we got it on the ends there. And so that was one of our, the 11 inch um, pieces. And then we're gonna grab one of the eight inch pieces and we're gonna do that same thing along the back. Okay, now if I'm going to go ahead and put the handles on. If you are using brads instead of um, any, you know, stick on embellishments, if you're using something that's going to go all the way through to the other side, then you're going to want to go ahead and put your handles on before you attach the paper in the back so that the paper in the back covers that up just to make it a nice, neat, finished looking project. Um, so it doesn't really matter uh, if you're just sticking something to the front, then it, you know, it really doesn't matter which one you do first. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the inside top. 
the same way that I did that outside piece. So going all the way around. Okay, so we've got our cute little bag. And um, for your um, handles, if you want to take your bone folder just to kind of give them a little bit of a curl, and really it might have been better to do this at the beginning, but it's curling just fine. Um, but I think last time I did that at the beginning so that while the glue was drying, it already had that little bit of a curve to it. But this is working just fine, like I said. Okay. So we've got our two little handles that look like this. And we're gonna go ahead and attach them to the front and back of the bag. So just again, a little bit of glue here and there. And just make sure that you have decided where you want your handles. I'm trying to go by my last one because I like the way that ended up. I'm going to hold these for a couple extra seconds. Just let that set nicely. And it always works a lot faster than I think it's going to. Very good. Okay, so we've got this last one. And I'm going to get that on. And I love the way this one turned out. I have not made this color combination before and I really like it. But I think I do like the top to be that one inch a little bit better just to give these handles a longer spot to grab onto. And we just need to do the little embellishments here on the front. So. We're going to take um, the little It's My Party Enamel Dots. Really cute. I love these colors. And I'm going to use the larger Mint Macaron dots. And I'm going to go ahead and just add two on each side. There. And, and you could use lots of different embellishments for this. You could also throw the pink in there and or the yellow, and that would be really, really cute. I am going to, um, next we're gonna make the tag. And I've got those two pieces of cardstock. And the first thing I'm gonna do is stamp with our basic black, the balloon, and I'm gonna stamp that on the white. And then we're going to cut that out with our two inch circle punch. And I'm just, I'm gonna cut it out kind of, it, we're gonna cut the bottom of the uh, string off and that's fine. We don't need that whole thing. And then we're gonna use our scallop punch and we're gonna get the crumb cake piece out. Okay, now for this little tag, I'm gonna take my Stampin' Right marker and I'm just gonna color the ribbon with the Blushing Bride. And that would also be really cute with the mint macaron. All right. 
And one tip, something that I did discover with this, don't put your little uh, honeycomb embellishment on until you have already attached your um, little pieces together, your little tag together. Because it is, you'll see when you flip it over, um, it's hard to get your little um, uh, um, dimensional, sorry, I couldn't think of the word, on the back when you can't lay your piece down. So just a tip. Three dimensionals. And before I peel those off, I'm going to go ahead and I thought I had lost my honeycomb. I'm going to put him on right here. And then you just peel off the other end and wrap it around. Make sure it's stuck down there good. All right. And I'm trying to put that on the other tote bag. Add your little tag right there to the middle. And that is it. You're done. So we've got two cute little tote bags. You can use these for gifts or Easter, anything that's coming up. Really, really cute. Holds a lot of stuff. Um, they're very sturdy. You'll be you'll be surprised at how sturdy they are. Um, thank you so much for um listening to my video today. And um, if you look in the description, you'll see the link to my blog and the link to uh, my Stampin' Up! shop where you can order all these products. Thanks so much and have a great day.